Hello, welcome to Asian Picture. It is already July 9th here in Korea. It's about 9.30 p.m. We just had our dinner, just have a little campfire. And I also wanted to give you night review. We're not gonna go for a drive, but I really wanted to show you what it looks like at night. Um, like I told you, this is the first camping car from Hyundai. Um, the name first, right? Why is it called Porter? Well, because this is actually based on Hyundai Porter, you know. Hyundai Porter is actually the working horse from Hyundai. Uh, it's actually a cab over truck. That's why the whole cab is sitting on the front axle. Uh, it's wearing 195, 70 by uh, 15 inches on front so it's also got a wheel cap if you can see wheel cap so so we also have a you know Hyundai logo in the middle uh, you know a few openings on the bottom and we also have a all burp type um, headlamp system so let me just show you working in detail that is DRL headlamp system high beam um, turn signal and that's fog lamp and that's what horn sounds like, okay? So we also have a massive looking side mirror. It actually folds. <laughs> and as you can see, uh, it's a very, very large car. Um, for dimensions, it's actually about 223 inches long, about 83 inches wide, and about 115 inches tall. So as you can see, it's very, very large camping car but you know compared to uh, you know ones from US and uh, Canada and North America it's it's relatively small one but I think compared to uh, for Korean roads I think it's a very very nice um, size uh, camping car and um, you know I'm gonna show you the interior very soon but they really thought about the uh, all the features and um, you know equipment um, so I think they really used the uh, volume interior volume very nicely we also have a um, earning on the top that's the main entrance we're going to show you interior pretty soon and we also have a car to it so you can remove the waste from the uh, toilet and there's also a shower right here there's also one inside but this one you can let's say you're coming back from an outdoor activity you can you know clean your feet um, so that's pretty nice it also gives you hot and cold water and look it's got massive massive uh I don't want to say not trunk, but it's actually a very good storage amount. Um, this is for built for four people, so I think that's plenty of space uh, to put your stuff in there. And like I told you, uh, this car actually has a smart room. Um, this extends about this much, about um, 80 centimeters. That's about 31 inches. So to give you more space inside, we're going to show you what it looks like inside. Um, Right here it says uh, poorest, not poorest guys, okay. <laughs> uh, it actually, uh, I thought it was uh, like a forest, uh, but um, it actually is, uh, like I told you, it's a combination of for, um, Hyundai Porter plus rest, okay. So that's why it says uh, Hyundai Porter 2 there. Hyundai logo in the middle. Um, okay, let me also show you, that's what the tail lamp looks like. Um, that's what the backup lamp looks like and turn signal looks like. Okay, we also have a few parking sensors on the bottom. Um, so yeah, um, so the suspension wise uh, was pretty okay, but uh, it felt like a, you know, <laughs> commercial vehicles. Um, I also have a, you know, inverter and, uh, you know, battery for the, uh, for the system. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Uh, you can actually, um, plug in the uh, two tunable charging here and also water but our um, camping site does not provide water so okay so that's what it looks like I'm going to show you the interior okay so to start we have a trash can right there um, you can also have a blind okay so sorry about the lightning um, yeah let me show you the inside this is uh for the bugs right to keep them away so this is what interior looks like um okay so let me just show you the interior quickly uh first of all i'd like to show you this touch control pad here it actually you can control the lights here 
inside and outside there's actually one LED lamp right here you see it on mood lamp one two three can also control the water 220 volt charging uh, there's also heater here too uh, it's actually got uh, wires for the heating on the floor so it should be pretty good um it's just saying it's all in korean um that's the amount of the uh the extra battery uh we have uh that's uh saying it's connected to the uh 220 volt uh, exter external power okay so this also has bluetooth so which means you can also connect this uh, to your phone and this button if you put it press it um it goes into sleeping mode so we also have a 24 inch tv um it's optional um so pretty nice we also have a stainless kitchen right here um this actually does not have burner but actually has a faucet uh, our card is out of water so we cannot show you but you can actually wash your fruits vegetables and everything like that okay so that should be pretty good we also have a small window here can actually put it onto uh, blind or just put it like that there's also window right here you can open it like this so you know pretty good uh, lots of bugs outside so let's just close the window uh, light on the top lots of shelves with locking mechanism so any, nothing would fall out so it's got one here one more so one on this side so it's got lots of uh, shelves uh, and it's got lots of uh, you know it's like a bookshelves here I'm gonna show you a few more um, soon we also have a uh, lots of drawers with locking mechanism so nothing would fall out pretty nice we also have a small microwave here you can just you see it it's working cancel very nice on the bottom as well so we also have a refrigerator it's pretty big cold and nice it's a very hot day here in Korea that's my beer I'm gonna finish it when I'm done reviewing we also have a small um, ice maker frozen area right there um, you know I don't know why they put this uh, I guess they wanted to emphasize uh, you know this is actually from Hyundai um, 220 more charging right there uh, we also have a uh, you see that uh, air vent for ventilation uh, air conditioning right here uh, is by uh, I don't know what the, the name of the company is uh, Dome, Dometic Dometic actually uh, so I'm not a really camping expert but just really wanted to show you guys what it looks like inside um, so we also have a small shower uh, you can actually press here so another 220 board charging so <laughs> that's a lot for probably for your dryer uh, like that um, we don't have water but you can actually take a shower uh, toilet paper actually toilet it's it's quite small but it actually works um, and when you're done you can just close everything so I think I think that's a pretty good use of interior space and like I showed you um, this is the part where we have extended um, if not extended I'm, I'm just gonna put a picture it's it just comes about here so that's quite big difference um you guys don't know i'm about uh, six two um you know there's also a bookshelf here there and even if i lay down you guys don't know i'm about six two right but my head is against the so it's pretty good uh, in the middle i'm pretty good but it, on the side i'm a little bit tight but uh we have a bigger bed so Hold on, let me just show you the bigger bed, okay? All right, so let me just show you this part of the interior. We also have two large windows on either side. And like I told you, this car was actually designed for four passengers. So when you're driving, how do we have four passenger seats? That's one, two, and let me just show you. This one actually falls up. Can I actually put two cushions like like that and then there's seat belt and you can actually um, have a seat so we have a four seats like this and you can also 
put the table down like this. Down. A little bit rusty, but actually, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit rusty. You can put this table on the bottom as well and you can put all these cushions and let me just put a bureau it becomes a flat bed um, so that's also pretty nice we also have a uh, two USB charging ports over there and two 20 board charging and let's say you're done eating and playing and playing poker and everything and uh, what you can do is this actually Porter has something called smart bed <laughs> just put the seat down like this and there's actually a button right here smart bed and actually this part just comes down so is it really awesome i mean i think really hyundai thought about the interior space and how to maximize the interior space they also give you ladder here so i think if you have a children I think they're really gonna love this um, you guys don't know I'm about 6'2 and I can get in up here and I think it's a little bit bigger than the the bed at the rear um, can certainly sleep like this and it's a very very nice place to be um, it actually is driven by this belt here um, it's also two of them just lifts up um, there's also two twin board charging here <laughs> and uh, one USB charging port and uh, there's one more here so editor Jung is actually helping me um, so so I think it's a very very nice place to be um, so if you have any questions about the interior let me know um, there's also a TV here I told you it's 24 inch TV um, so yeah I think Hyundai really thought about the interior space and all um, so I think it looks like a small car from outside, but actually is very nicely done. So when you put it on, you, you have to be keep on pressing. If you stop, it will stop. That's for safety purposes. So that's pretty nice. And um, one funny thing is, if it goes all the way, the light comes up. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, I think I told you everything about the uh, the uh, the cabin. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. And lastly, let me just show you the uh, the driver's seat. Okay. So let me just start the car. It's still hot outside. See, 29 Celsius hot outside. Let me just turn the AC on. Um, so let me just show you the car from inside. It's got analog gauges on each side with the uh, RPM gauge going on the right side so that's very good we also have a 3.5 inch screen in the middle showing various information to the driver and I really love how they drew this uh, porter looking image and we also have a leather steering wheel um, does not have adaptive but cruise control right here so it should be very nice for long distance travelings and uh, this is let me just show you this is DRL no that's I lied that's DRL headlamp high beam turn signal and horn sound <laughs> horn sounds really cute isn't it um, we also have uh, you know events on either side um, hazard button actually just one stage uh, heated seats just for the driver's seat we also have heated seats heated steering wheel just for the driver and um, we also have a mp3 player cd player uh, with a clock so uh, i kind of listen to it it's it's not great but it's not bad either am yeah. so it's, it's not like a genesis or anything like that but it's, it's there to give you everything you need um, this is usb um, esc off lane departure warning um, like I told you this has a you know, camera sensor right here for lane departure warning and also um, for collision avoidance so this porter will actually um, step on the brakes for you to uh, pre prevent the forward collision okay so there's no paddle shifters um, as you can see but we have a gear selector 
um, plus minus. So you can do that here. There's also a cup holder here, ashtray cup holder right here. And um, this is, I don't know if you guys have this in your country, but this is actually your coin holder. It makes a very, very loud noise, but it's something to have. Uh, some storage area here, um, emergency brake, good old system. And um, actually the bed and uh, the smart space only works when the emergency brake is on. So when I put it out, it's, it keeps on beeping, right? It's saying you cannot you know, do that when you're driving. I also have 12 volt charging. Um, yeah, so it's got pretty much everything. Um, little box here and window comes down all the way. Um, so we have, uh, you know, everything set up. So I, I don't think I'm gonna go drive this car right now. So um, yeah, so this has been our night time review with Hyundai Porter, not Porter, Hyundai poorest see i'm still making mistakes here so uh hope you guys enjoyed it um yeah it's really dark outside right i just wanted you to uh enjoy the campfire we built um so yeah uh it's been our night drive with hyundai poorest i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it um before you leave uh if you love cars and car reviews please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. So thank you guys, see you soon, and I'm just going to grab my beer and finish the day. Okay, so thank you guys and see you soon. Bye bye. And let me just grab one more for Editor John, okay?